so this is the first day out for Beth and me on a trip through Idaho and Montana. A lot of flies around me out here. Wasn't expecting to take video. I, uh, we were just going out on this lake, a lake and fen complex in uh, Boise County, uh, near Custer County, looking for Utricularia. I found a couple species, Utricularia macrorhiza and Utricularia minor. Also, really, to my surprise, we found Drosera anglica. But what's really weird is we found two populations of Drosera anglica. One looks totally normal, lots of red leaves, uh, the inflorescence is coming straight up. It looks like Drosera anglica. But then we're also finding some Drosera anglica on floating sedge mats. And it's completely different in appearance. It's all green. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's got some red pigmentation in it. And it's also um, really long petioles, very short leaf blades. No inflorescences yet. Drosera intermedia is proposed to be in the area. This might be this Drosera intermedia plant uh, that people are talking about. I don't know. It's a really weird plant. I'm going to see if I can get some video for you. Okay, so here's what we're up to now. In far northern Idaho, uh, several years ago, or many years ago, a botanist reported having found Drosera intermedia in some fens. That's where we're going today. We're going to go to the very first place it was recorded, see if we can find these, um, these plants, these Drosera intermedia, or whatever might be passing for Drosera intermedia. And here are the uh, plants that are being flagged as intermedia. Notice that it's a large cluster of plants. Uh, the plants are overall smaller than the Anglica plants that are also here. Uh, the, uh, it looks like it's not flowering. None of the plants are flowering yet that I've been able to find, while the Anglica plants are flowering. I'm guessing it might be either some kind of mass germination of Anglica seeds, which seems odd, or um, uh, a hybrid, mm -hmm. or just Anglica being weird. Here is what appears to be seedling activity. Here are the clumping plants growing right down to the water's edge. You can see the little frog in the water too. 